I just launched my dinghy. Uh, I'm hoping to collect some squall water uh, because I need to do laundry and the water that I collect in the dinghy isn't clean enough for drinking but it's still fresh so I usually filter it through a t-shirt and do laundry in it. Uh, it's still raining pretty hard but the worst of the wind always is before the squall and that's over. So now it's just lovely rain. This is my squall water from last night. That's enough for um, the first part of one. I'm hoping to collect the second bucket's worth in this squall. Dingy's already doing a great job. I just arrived at Bali So, which is a privately owned island, and there are there's nothing here. It's awesome. I've been battling squalls all day. I keep managing to just avoid them. So that's one that almost hit me. One over St. Vincent that I passed. And then this one I was really trying to get in before this guy hit. And I've just put my anchor down. I just have to snub it and then I'm done. Awesome news. I think I collected more rainwater than I can even use in this last squall. The rain only lasted about an hour maybe. And um, I'd say I got 10 gallons of water. So that's pretty cool. What I'm doing right now is I collected some of this water in a bucket and since it's from the dinghy it's a little bit dirty and I'm just transferring it into the second bucket, uh, filtering it through a t-shirt so that it strains out all of the gunk that comes with the dinghy. Sweet. One full bucket of fresh, clean water. Now to fill the second bucket, life gets a little more complicated because I have to strain it as I go in the dinghy. <laughs> For this part of the exercise, I'm just doing the filtering right from the dinghy water into the bucket because I only have two buckets and bucket A is already full of fresh water. So luckily there's not much of a roll. I got another almost full bucket, which means Freshwater shower for this kid. Check it out. Pow! Awesome. This is the best day ever. Okay, now I have one totally full and one almost full bucket of fresh water. I just have to wait for an opportune moment to do laundry. Now it's sunset. It's a super rewarding sunset tonight. Tomorrow morning my plan is to bust out some laundry and then hang it all up to dry and while it's drying go ashore. Obviously first try to find the caretaker so that they can tell me that I'm allowed to explore the island but you know what if we don't run into each other I'm sure no one's gonna care. But for now I'm just gonna enjoy this gorgeous view and this personal sunset and tomorrow's a really exciting laundry day. Who doesn't get excited about that? Well, it rained so much last night, I collected almost 20 gallons of water. So my tanks are topped up, I have enough water for laundry, and I was able to take a freshwater shower, complete freshwater shower today from the dinghy water. And I also have a spare three gallons of dinghy water for washing and laundry in a separate tiny jerry jug. Life is really it's good. It's laundry time. I'm going around the boat collecting all of the things that, um, are dirty and I've still been wearing because sailors stuff. I usually do two loads of wash in one bucket of water so I try to split it up the first load things that are less dirty the second load things that are more dirty and it actually does work to clean everything. When I first started out on this trip I was going to laundromats once a month but um, a lot of the Caribbean islands it's pretty expensive and you're not often even allowed to do your own laundry and they fold your underwear for you and they charge more because they're also charging you for folding your underwear. So I decided to start doing laundry by hand. Um, you know, I was most surprised when I started doing it because I thought doing laundry in a five gallon bucket wasn't going to get my clothes clean, but it actually does. How does it work? In the age of machines that wash your clothes, it's actually really hard to find any literature on hand washing. So I had to go back to cave paintings in this ancient cave in Peru where they depicted how to wash your clothes. And I kind of looked at the hieroglyphic -y pictures and figured it out from there. It was a super long process. I had to learn how to read hieroglyphics and everything. But basically, what you do is you take two five-gallon buckets. These are really hard to come by, so if you can't find them, don't get discouraged. 
Fill them each about halfway with water, add your laundry detergent to one of them, and then slosh it around to mix it in. That's your dirty wash bucket. Then I take half the laundry that I have, or all the laundry, depends how much there is, and throw it into that bucket. Now, basically, I am becoming the agitating cycle of the washer, so I'm just putting my hand in and kind of sloshing everything around. Basically, you want to get all the water into and out of the clothes because it brings the little soaps through them and takes the dirt out or something magical. I don't really know how that works. They didn't have laundry detergent in the cave painting, so I'm kind of improvising here. Next step, once I've agitated the clothes for about 15 to 20 minutes, I take everything out and wring all the water out of it and then put it in a nice little pile on the side, put the next load of clothes and more laundry detergent into that bucket, and then put the clothes that just came out into the rinse bucket. And I kind of do the same thing. I probably only keep them in the rinse bucket, take them out, wring them out. The only thing with wringing is that when you're washing sheets, it's a huge pain in the neck because they're giant and it hurts my hands, but that's fine. And now they're ready to hang up on the line to dry. And I put the second load of laundry through the same process and wring those out and then hang everything up and the sun and the wind make your clothes smell delicious and summery. And honestly, I cannot tell the difference between um, clothes from the laundromat and clothes from the bucket, except I don't fold my own underwear, so that's usually a giveaway. Check it out. <laughs> Squall alert. So it's been really squally, that's the reason I have all this water. This one should pass quickly. I'm gonna bring everything that's wet down below and then bring it back up and hang it up when the squall's passed. Classic. Okay, successful laundry day. Everything looks happy, the sun's out again. I'm gonna go ashore <clears throat> and uh, you know, look for the caretaker like I'm supposed to do. I'm about to go explore this uh, private island and then I'm gonna take off for Chatham Bay to spend the night, clear out, and then head to Karyaku. And who? This island is really cute. I actually didn't turn out to have a ton of time to explore it once I finished doing all my laundry and kind of realized that I had an almost 30 mile sail ahead of me and I wanted to get in before it got dark so timed that one poorly but anyway I explored the little island a little bit there were a bunch of cute tortoises that I was you know bothering with my camera but I don't think they really care I basically just walked around on the beach I didn't really see anyone much around it's got a really cool beach. It's mostly rock, but then there's a tiny little sandy bit with really cool shade that is sort of speckled on the beach in between the trees in a really pretty way. Once I was done walking around and exploring, I rode back to my boat. It started to get really rough and rocky in that anchorage, which I think is why a lot of people don't go there because it's just totally wide open and only protected by underwater reefs. Luckily, the whole night it was pretty good weather, but by the time I got back, I actually had a really hard time hoisting up my dinghy because the boat was rocking so much that it kept slamming into the side of the hull. Once I got underway, though, I had an amazing sail. Oh my god, it was one of my favorite sails ever. It was just really nice wind and really calm seas, and I had this moment where I realized that I've been sailing around in the Caribbean for the past almost five months and I'm starting to feel really comfortable with my boat and the operations that I do like anchoring, setting up and taking down the sails, putting the dinghy in the water. It's all starting to be stuff that I don't even think about anymore. Whereas when I first started, I was always going through the mental checklist. Now of it just seems really natural and I feel like I can relax a little bit more and just enjoy being on the water in really beautiful weather. My favorite time of day to be at sea is probably starting around 3.30 or 4 when the sun starts to go lower in the sky and everything cools off and gets really goldeny and beautiful. And I was just riding this crazy big high of being on my own little boat in this warm, beautiful 
location and just totally doing my thing. I got in to the island that I was aiming for right as the sky was getting dark. The sun had already set and I just dropped the hook and put everything away and then it was just black night with twinkly little stars and I was really excited because the next day I was going to set out for my last island in the Caribbean chain which was, well, Kariku, but the last country is Granada. And the adventure is just going to continue and just keep getting better and better from here. Thanks for watching. I put out new videos every Monday. Thank you to all my patrons who are supporting me on Patreon. If you're interested in supporting me on Patreon, there's a link below that you can click on. My page is patreon.com slash windhippie. If you're interested in following me in real time and seeing daily life of what I'm doing on board, things I'm thinking about, songs that I sing to myself and then put on Instagram for some reason, um, I have an Instagram page. It's at Boat Lizard. And um, give me a follow on there if you want to see more in-depth things that I'm doing. Thank you, Tish for uploading this video for me, and thank you everyone for all your really nice comments. I love reading through them. It always makes me super happy. And I'll see you guys next week.